Intercare, 50 years of providing medical aid for Africa. In 1968, London-based GP Dr David Rosenberg, recognising the amazing work of health providers in Africa, but also their difficulty in getting hold of appropriate and affordable medicines, saw an opportunity to both reduce UK medical waste and save lives in Africa. For David, who pulled together surplus medicines from GP practices and packed them up himself at home, the initial challenge was how to transport them. And at first, the answer lay in a collaboration with established anti-poverty charity War on Want, which worked well for several years. But David realised that he needed a charity that could solely focus on this unique challenge. So in 1974, following his move to Leicester, Intercare was born and the work began of finding its own way of channelling supplies of medical aid from the UK to health clinics in Africa, run by Catholic sisters in rural areas. As Intercare's reputation grew, the Catholic Church provided further validation and spiritual support via the involvement and patronage of a number of bishops, increasing the charity's visibility and credibility. In the early 80s, the charity expanded further, attracting many long-term volunteers, some with valuable medical training. They worked across six African countries with around 50 partnered health units. And by 1985, Intercare's regular consignments had totaled over £1 million worth of vital medical aid. The charity had come a long way from those first small boxes packed in Dr Rosenberg's sitting room and sent to a handful of mission hospitals just 10 years earlier. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Intercare also helped with particular development challenges in Africa, like providing medical training for the African sisters running the recipient health units and supplying them with health education materials. And when the global HIV AIDS epidemic hit, Intercare played their part by supporting partner health unit staff in reducing the impact on their communities. In the new millennium, Intercare responded to many changes in legislation and the increasing regulations surrounding export of medicines. Dedicated medical volunteers and staff successfully responded to the challenges that came their way. And we continue to be an approved organisation for medicines export. As Intercare's reputation and expertise grew, so did the surplus supplies that were provided. And so, in 2001, the warehouse and office in Syston were opened to manage the increasing volumes. The total value of supplies dispatched now exceeded £4 million, with 100 health units benefiting. The secret to Intercare's success is the ability to remain focused on its mission, continually evolve with the times and, importantly, engage many volunteers. In 2012, this was particularly recognised through the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. With the increasing quantities of aid, the COVID-19 pandemic further highlighted the ongoing challenges of logistics. Intercare responded by significantly reducing transportation costs through the adoption of shipping containers to send healthcare goods and by working with partners to buy some of the medical aid in Africa. Over the past 50 years, thanks to all these efforts, many millions of pounds of high-quality medical aid have been sent to rural sub-Saharan Africa, simultaneously saving hundreds of tonnes of potential medical waste in the UK. We may never know for sure the number of people that have benefited, but we do know that every person helped also has a positive impact on their families and communities. Across 50 years, that is millions of lives impacted for good. Our commitment, with your support, is to continue this life-giving work for many years to come. I cannot explain um, clearly how the, the, the donation is supporting uh, our poor people, and especially the poor people. Uh, for me, it's, it's something 
wonder, it's kind of a miracle. I cannot explain it. It's really a miracle. Yeah. Our special thanks for you is about for medicine and the lab test that you gave us. It helped us, even it helped our passion. So thank you very much indeed for your help. I've just been able to watch the video recording the 50 years of Intercare's life. It's fantastic to be able to see faces that I've known and also to realize that the work is not only continuing but expanding to this tremendous extent. I would never have believed that the work would be going on for 50 years. So I send my heartiest congratulations to all those who have made it possible and I look forward to the next 50 years.